Okay, what we have here is a uh, 2010 Ford uh, Edge, and the complaint here is the air conditioning doesn't work, or at least the compressor won't kick on. We've uh, we've run a bypass past the compressor uh, relay, and we know the compressor works. And if we do that, we also know that uh, we got good charge and everything seems to cool down good. But on its own, we got a automatic. AC here or automatic temperature control and the problem is that it just doesn't cool and the compressor is not kicking in on its own or at least not with the commands from the temperature control unit. So what we did we went over here and got the scanner plugged in we can see we got code P or a B2014 AC evaporator sensor open circuit and what there is is there's a temp sensor on the evaporator core to basically tell the PCM when to shut the compressor off to prevent the evaporator from icing up. And we've got a short circuit, or we've got an open circuit on that, I should say. And it's not reading any resistance. So what I did was I took the, on a known grid system, I measured the resistance across that circuit, and it measures about two 2,000 ohms. So what I did was down here, I don't know, we're underneath the dash here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but... There's the plug-in right there. I'll try to get the light right on it. For that uh, temperature sensor for the evaporator is right over there. And what I did was I stuck a 2.7 K ohm or 2700 ohm resistor in the plug to bypass or so that the uh, so that we would have some feedback to the AC control unit that the sensor is no longer open circuit and just to verify that the AC does actually work. So now that we got that resistor in there, again it's about a 2.7K or 2700 ohm resistor. We'll start her up. We'll turn our AC on to auto. We're at 60 degrees. We just heard the compressor kick in. See the temperature in the shop is about 87 right now. And we'll put the temperature gauge into the vent here. And get it in there. And we'll watch here and see what it does. And you can see it's starting to cool down. So, our AC definitely works. You don't want to leave it like that with that uh, resistor in there. Because obviously that needs, the control unit needs the feedback from the, from the temp sensor to prevent the evaporator from freezing up. But just by putting the resistor in there, at least we know that our system is actually functioning and that we've just verified too that it is actually a problem with that sensor that keeps our air conditioning or keeps the compressor from turning on. A uh, couple of things about these vehicles. Number one, the snap-on scanner doesn't give you a whole lot of data regarding the AC compressor. Uh, it doesn't tell you whether the PCM is commanding the relay open or closed. So you, you're not so when you're trying to troubleshoot these for uh, an inoperative AC, there's not a whole lot of data. There's no pressure sensor data, nothing like that, fan on, compressor on, anything of that. There is some data for your door position sensors and for whether or not your buttons are functional on the uh, control unit here, but not really. And the other interesting thing about this Ford Edge here is that that HVAC, HVAC box with the heater core and the evaporator and all your uh, mode actuators and temperature actuators you cannot, at least from our Ford dealer, we've looked it up because we wanted to buy just that sensor for this vehicle and that sensor is not available. You have to buy the entire HVAC box with the evaporator core and the heater core in it. You cannot buy just a heater core and you cannot buy just an an evaporator core for this vehicle. So I guess we're going to have to, for various reasons, because this vehicle was, I think it's a theft recovery vehicle that we got in here. It's not uh, going to be covered under warranty, so we're going to have to uh, either get a used HVAC box or get a new HVAC box just to replace that, probably what is actually a $20 sensor, which is not available separately. So. I guess that's about it for our Ford Edge. Again, we had code 2014.
I'll right, we'll just uh I'll turn the key back on here. I'll just give you a little demonstration here of what if the camera will show what we got for data. Uh, we'll go to data display. And here we have our data list for the automatic temperature control, but nowhere on here. About the best is the air conditioning blower output relay, but there's nothing on here to say to tell you whether or not your compressor should be engaged or not engaged. And there's also I didn't see anything on here, any temperature sensor for the evaporator core either. So you kind of got to ohm that out. Normal ohm, normally the resistance on the temp sensor, I think about 2,000 ohms. So I guess that's about it.